Hi gamers, Maniac here with GameAccess.net doing an unboxing for something that actually might be a collectible in the future, I don't know. I've seen these at a lot of stores. Uh, Target is selling these. Um, Best Buy is selling them. This is a uh, limited edition steelbook, Earwig and the Witch. A film by Goro Miyazaki, not... Uh, not the not the here that not the Miyazaki that we might remember from Spirited Away and, and and stuff like that. This is, I believe, his son. Correct me if I'm wrong. But the studio that is responsible for it, Studio Ghibli, did make a lot of those famous movies that everybody remembers. And I have been watching like nonstop Studio Ghibli documentaries over the past at least two months. I am fascinated by their production schedule and things like that. Um, and of course, th there's been documentaries that have been released on both HBO Max and PBS that you should totally check out, depending upon your, your local, depending on what you have access to. But um, yeah, I, <laughs> I've been familiar with Miyazaki, of course, since uh, I watched his very, I think it was his first movie on, on uh, Netflix. It was... Um, Obviously, most people don't consider this his first movie, but I, I, he is credited on it. I believe he, he I mean, I'm, I don't think he's completely 100% happy with it. But there was the movie The Castle of Cagliostro, which I think is probably my favorite anime of all time right now. I freaking love that movie, Castle of Cagliostro. Lupin the Third, of course, famous, and I think it's getting a 4K release pretty soon. But ever since then, I've, I've actually been more interested in watching more Miyazaki stuff. And while I haven't had the time to watch anything too super crazy, I, of course, remember watching Spirited Away with my fiancé at Kineticon a couple a couple years ago. That was um, that, mov that movie was shown in a, um, a multi-part feature with um, The Princess Bride. They were doing like a triple feature or something. But that was that was actually a lot of fun to to to, to watch. We they 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 took they rented a baseball field, and uh, they put the movies up on the like the super like the jumbotron, and because of how the field was set up, everybody in the jumbotron could actually watch it, or anybody could see the jumbotron and watch it. And of course, they had the popcorn vendors up and stuff. Okay, this is not cutting. And everybody could watch it. <laughs> I've cut this down so you didn't have to worry about. Uh... Let's see who we got for the audio dub for this. Richard E. Grant, of course, the very famous Richard E. Grant that we remember from many, many films. A great actor. Always plays the bad guy. I've seen him play the bad guy a lot of time. But anyways, I first became familiar with this film when they made the announcement about it for HBO Max streaming. And now, of course, it's on Blu-ray. In uh, it, this is the Steelbook edition, of course, but there is a uh, there is a standard traditional Blu-ray. This is bundled with uh, the Blu-ray and the DVD. So let's take a look inside, and there it is: a DVD release and a Blu-ray release, and both are specially marked, which is good. It is a CG movie. Um, Typically, Studio Ghibli doesn't do CG movies. The first one I was familiar with was a movie about a fuzzy caterpillar that was directed by Hayao Miyazaki. But um, this is obviously not that film, and I don't think it's even included as a special feature for the film. As far as I know, the only way to watch that short right now is to uh, go to the Ghibli Museum in Japan. Although, correct me if I'm wrong, I know for a fact HBO Max doesn't currently show it. So, yeah. I'm excited to be able to watch this. Um, like I said, if you've got HBO Max, I'm pretty certain it's on HBO Max. So, yeah, um, if you have any movies that are Ghibli movies that you, that you believe that I should absolutely watch, post a comment below because I want to actually read this. And um, I, based upon your comments, I'll actually watch them or pick them up on, on disc. I am a little hesitant to pick up movies uh, on Blu-ray right now. Um, obviously, I can watch the movies on stri various streaming services, of course, you know. But I meant, like, uh, I, I fully expect there to be, like, 4K disc releases for some of these Miyazaki movies in the future, Studio Ghibli movies. I don't think this one will get a, a 4K release anytime soon because it's CG. But, yeah, I, I'm I'm excited about, about this one. And, uh, if, again, if you guys have any further movie ideas you think I should watch, by all means, post a comment below. Until next time, my name is Maniac with GamingSess.net. Take care. Over and out.